TJ a Rubik's Cube here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a Rubik's Cube for the 15th time. Now we are going to start. So first of all, you want to locate all of the white pieces, which, and you want to put them on the yellow side. So, and when I mean pieces, I mean the edges. So I'm not going to be teaching you notation. I'll put a link in the description on what notation is, and uh, yeah. So you want to get all of the white edges onto the yellow side. This can be done by simple turning, like this. And, uh, yeah. So if you ever have one that isn't, like, it's on it, but it ain't flipped, basically what you can do is you can turn it front ways, and move the middle layer towards like move the middle way or left or right depending on where you're putting it and then you turn it back up and then once you have the full daisy which is what it's called we can go on to the next step next step is to get the white edges onto the white side like this so to do that we are basically it's very simple basically uh, so you want to get like look on the white the yellow side and look for any white piece like let's do red and you want to position it with the red center and what you do and it's facing towards you do front twice and it should be on the white side then you want to do the same thing with let's do this green piece now it ain't lined up with the green center so we're going to line it up and when it is we're going to do the same thing we're going to do front two and as you can see they're going in so we're going to line it up again and do front two and then for the last piece we can just do front two and now we have a white cross which is the you don't have to be white but it's the main color so um yeah we can go on the next step which is getting the white pieces in which is simple you want to right so on the white side you want to look for two colors that are next to each other like red and um green so we're going to find the red and green piece which is here and if it's on the white side but not in its position you just want to do R, U, R inverted and U inverted and it will go on the top then you want to put it over where it's meant to be so this would be here so now it's over we're just going to do R, U, R inverted U and we're going to carry on doing that until it's in like this we're going to do that for all pieces, so this um, orange and green piece, it will go here, and we're going to do R, U, R, U inverted. And uh, yeah, if it is in the place, but not flipped, so like, all well, this white's meant to be here, this blue's meant to be here, and this orange's meant to be here, you just do R, U, R inverted U, and then it'll be on the top later, and then you just want to carry on doing it. Right, and the last piece, we're going to do the same thing, R, U, R, V, T, U, 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 R, U, R, V, T, and U, V, T, and, uh, yeah, and now we got the white layer done. I'd like to note that I said R, U, R, V, T, U, but it's meant to be R, U, R, V, T, U, V, T, so, uh, yeah, just... I'll put like the what is it called notation on the screen anyway. So uh, yeah, next step we have to do the middle layer, which is quite simple. So on the top there will be yellow and pieces without yellow, like these edges. This one's yellow blue, this one's yellow orange, and this one's red blue, and this one's uh, red green. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna line this one up with the where it's meant so this one's red so we want to line up with the red center and then you want to figure out which way it's going if it's going left which it's not you want to do the left algorithm and if it's going right you want to do the right al algorithm we're going to do the right one which is u r u inverted r inverted and then they'll be paired and then you want to do u inverted front inverted u front and that should put in one piece which it's not really 
there we go. Now, if you want to do it to the right, we basically do the same thing, but kind of reverse. We do U inverted, L inverted, U, L, U, front, U inverted, front inverted. <coughs> and that will put in the left and right pieces. Um, now we are going to carry on. So it's basically the same thing. You are you inverted, I'm inverted, you inverted. Like that. And you just have to position it and then do the same thing, which is you inverted, L, U, I inverted, U. And then front invert, front, U inverted, front inverted. Now we're going to go on the next step, which is simple it's the white cross. Which, if you have no pieces, you just want to do this. Front, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, front inverted. Then if you have a um, L, you basically want to put it like this. Then you want to do the same thing. Front, U, R, U inverted, R inverted, and front inverted. And that will get the line. It's basically the same thing. You want to position it like this. And then do the same thing. Front, R, U, R, U inverted, and front inverted. And that will get it. So now we're going to do the corners, which are basically easy. You want to find any corner that that isn't facing up, which is like this one. And you want to position it on the right top, like this. And then you want to do this algorithm. R inverted, D inverted, R, D. And you want to carry on doing it until it's faced up. Then when it is, you want to do it U, and then you want to do the same thing. And then it's face up, then do U, and then you want to do the same thing again. And uh, until white is com yellow is completely done. You should have um, uh, one out of two things, which is there are no corners, like paired, like blue and blue. This is red, orange, this is blue, green, red, orange, and blue, green. So if you don't have any, you just want to do this. R, U, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted front, R front inverted, and then you want to do it again, R inverted, no, R inverted front, R front inverted, and then U front inverted, U front, and that will give you headlights, which once you have headlights you want to position them to the right, left, so these are the headlights and you want to position them to the left, and then you want to do the same thing. R, U, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted front, R front inverted, R inverted front, R front inverted, U inverted, front inverted, U and front. We have another one out of two cases where also all, there's four sides that aren't done or there's only three sides that aren't done. So basically, but you can use the same thing on these so you want to hold the cube with any colour facing you and you want to front to U L R inverted front to R L inverted U and front to and what will happen is there will be one side that's completely done that isn't white or yellow then when you have that you want to face it in the back and then you want to do the same thing, so front to U, L, L inverted, no, R, R inverted and L, front to L inverted, R, U, and front to. And if it doesn't solve then, which it might not, you basically want to do the same thing, and then it will be solved. So that's basically it. And uh, once it's solved, you can... um impress your friends if you have any and uh yeah is that the end yes